I don't, this is why going my own way. So, yeah, I was kind of crushed and smashed with the micromanagement of short-term rental management company as a, a remote customer service representative, aka ghost writer for Osaka, Japan. Yeah, the micromanagement drove me nuts. I am a living host on Airbnb. Living host means host on the premise I live in that house. And then I use my uh, spare room for Airbnb hosting for private room instead of entire house or entire apartment listing and uh, the short-term rental management company job I did that's uh, entire house entire apartment listing because that's the new Japanese short-term re regulation short-term rental if it is entire house without host present then the host require working with property management company like for safety reasons for when the fire uh, comes or the evacuation and stuff and uh, yeah that their micromanagement drove me nuts i tried to keep good attitude yeah, here goes the uh, example. The dreadful early check-in, late check-out, luggage storage. Uh, since in my house, I only have one listing. So early check-in, late check-out, uh, luggage storage is no problem unless there is a same day turnover, which really happening because private room is not so popular compared to entire house listing because entire house can can fit many more people and the guests can enjoy freedom and uh, privacy without without the host. It's as if college students prefer living in their own apartment instead of the parents' house. If they want to do have a party, drug, cock carousel and stuff. But uh, and still, I, I do have uh, uh, some uh, inquiry and guest staying. So... Yeah, uh, talking about the uh, micromanagement of short-term rental property management nightmare. And uh, yeah, every time the, the guest for Osaka, Japan, uh, by the way, I live in near Washington, D.C. and work as, used to work as a, uh, remote customer service for a company in Osaka, Japan. And um, whenever, like, majority of the guests over there in Osaka company, they are from China, Taiwan, South Korea, uh, Philippines, and yeah, many Asian countries. And then, uh, yeah, some guests ask for early checkout oh, or early check-in and then so I have to make sure if the room is ready or if if it is same day turnover in that case the cleaning company is still cleaning if the new guest want want to check in like like before noon so I have to I have to see the check the 
database and then if if the room is ready i i tell the guest the future guest uh saying or uh, writing the, or everything is reading and writing i have to write or the room is ready so you can check in uh before uh before 4 p.m and then if you come earlier than a certain time we have to charge for a whole whole one day and then yeah when i approve the early check-in late check-out and luggage storage i am supposed to ask for a great review great uh, like five star rating and great review in a writing form for airbnb and uh, uh, personally i do not like that practice at all like when i host the guest in my own house and i, I never asked oh since i i give you early check-in could you please give me a five star rating and great review like i i never asked that and i think it's lame to ask that if you are a good host providing clean clean house clean room and be friendly but not pestering and hovering all the time respect their time and space then you don't have to ask ask for five star rating or a good review and same goes ride share uber and lyft i was a ride share driver in uber and lyft and yeah some discussion forum among the drivers should you ask for good rating or not and of course some people say oh it's okay to ask but to me i don't like asking i don't but since i was working for the uh short-term rental property management company i'm supposed to do what how they want me to do so so i yeah each time I, I asked uh, good rating and good review on behalf of that uh, Airbnb host, on behalf of the host. But if it's my own listing in Washington DC area, uh, I don't, I'm not gonna ask. I think it's embarrassing to ask good review instead uh in exchange of uh late checkout and luggage storage and early check-in so yeah the micro management yeah drove me nuts even though they they say they technically this job is independent contractor which i I didn't have liberty to to choose which day I work, what time window I work, and how how I want to perform because I have to constantly work in eggshell. Like, oh, if the the company owner, the company uh, president, I I don't wanna say. CEO because that company is only five people company only five staff staffs I I don't know who is full-time who is part-time or what it's small company so I don't want to say fancy word like CEO so let's say sweatshop owner so I have to worry about sweatshop owner micromanagement and 
the other staff who who started working before I do so they know more and one time uh, one of the staff asked me to update the uh, calendar the calendar like three months in advance or four months in advance because it will be the busy season in in Japan so uh, want to wanting to raise the price and uh, uh, I don't necessarily if that's my uh, listing I don't I don't change I don't change the rate uh, just because it's uh, or summer is busy spring is busy because of cherry blossom and uh, uh yeah i yeah i think this uh remote customer service job is has many like a uh, employment uh, factor rather than independent contractor because i have to follow micromanagement what they want me to do and how they want me to do in time window and stuff so yeah if like if anybody who are looking for stay home work scam and uh, if they are uh, uh, if you are good at uh if you are detail oriented it might be an okay job for you but uh yeah that that particular company i i work uh they refuse to pay the last two month wage so if any one of you interested in uh, a short-term rental management company as a part-time job a full-time job and yeah, you should check with the payment method. And you might want if it is independent contractor, if if you are technically independent contractor, you might wanna ask to pay in advance so that they don't ghost on you for the last payment. So yeah, I still believe that like whoever want to do uh want to have entire house listing like why don't you host in your own house first and then how it works you can use your couch if you want to do shared room listing and if you if you live in a three bedroom house or four bedroom house make one room empty and then uh, dedicate to airbnb or booking.com listing and how it goes the private room before you invest in the uh, entire room listing so yeah i just don't want anybody experience the same thing as I do, like uh, 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 ghosting on the last two month payment. So, yeah, yeah. If you have private room in your house, you will work for yourself instead of uh, working Excel on the micromanagement. <laughs> do this do that and stuff so yeah please be careful and smart yeah that's it for today and thank you so much have a great day